Revelation 3205. From the 29th of July 1944. Unification of Spirit and Soul. Rebirth. The soul will feel an irresistible urge to ascend when, due to its actions of love, it unites with the spirit within itself, since the latter seeks to influence and lead it to the kingdom which is its true home. And, to the same degree, it will detach itself from earth, that is its intentions and thoughts will no longer be directed towards the body and its wishes but will be focused on spiritual values. As soon as this stage has been reached the soul will be reborn in spirit, it will have started a new chapter in life, it will have recognized its true purpose of earthly life and become conscious of its earthly task. From this point on it cannot turn back, it cannot regress into the previous condition when it had no spiritual knowledge and only paid attention to earthly life. And from now on it will gather spiritual wealth by consciously striving to ascend it will open itself to mental influences from the spiritual realm and will thus act with kindness, because the beings of light express themselves through the spiritual spark within the human being and this consistently encourages actions of love. The more the human being acts with kindness the more capable he becomes of hearing the voice of the spirit within himself and increases his knowledge. He can fulfill his actions of love in two ways, he can help his fellow human beings worldly as well as spiritually, he can help other people by supporting them in times of earthly distress, but he can also take care of another person's soul by teaching and giving what he previously has received from his spirit. Spiritual knowledge which corresponds to the truth he can pass on everlasting wealth and thereby help other souls to ascend too, and this loving action is extremely beneficial, it is the kind of support for which the souls will be eternally grateful. Because spiritual help always denotes an awakening to life, as long as the human being accepts help, as long as he does not reject this help. However, as soon as the human being has started on the spiritual path himself he will never want to ascend alone but will always encourage his fellow human beings because he realizes that spiritual aspiration is the most important part of life, since it can lead to the goal, providing the person is willing. The soul no longer feels comfortable on earth and constantly strives to escape and for that reason it can lift itself any time and anywhere into the spiritual realm, as the bridge shall always be built from there if the human being desires to enter the spiritual realm. The beings of light are always willing to impart the strength they receive from God to the human soul, and the spiritual spark within the human being is always willing to pass on the spiritual gifts to the soul because the spiritual spark is in permanent unity with the light-giving world and therefore with God, who communicates the knowledge of truth through the beings of light to any human being who wants to receive it. This is because the soul's desire, its thoughts and intentions determine the amount of spiritual gifts it receives, which are unrestricted providing the soul shares the received spiritual wealth with other people for their benefit too. Amen.